Now we're on um, ECD exercise number 13 on page 91. And um, so we'll start with the heart rate. Heart rate is approximately 48. And if we were to map it out, we'll say here's a QRS that falls in a dark line. The heart rate here is uh, 300, 150, 175, 60, 50, 43. So there's 50 and 43. So well, your guess is good as mine. This falls just shy of the 50. I'm going to say 48. 48 sounds reasonable, right? Uh, P waves are absent. We don't see P waves anywhere. There's like a little, you know, wavy baseline there, but no P waves. You know, you might look at this and go, well, what's that, Rob? Uh, it's nothing. Don't get excited. Uh, you know, it's probably just artifact. There's no clearly discernible P waves. Uh, if there are no P waves, there's no PR interval, and the QRS is narrow. It's less than 0.12 second. The ratio is not applicable. The rhythm is regular. And when you have uh, a regular, narrow, complex rhythm without discernible P waves, there's only one interpretation for that, and that is a junctional rhythm with a heart rate of 48. And it just so happens that um, the intrinsic rate for AV junction is between 40 and 60, so that fits nicely. That just uh, is supportive of that interpretation. Uh, but the key here is that there, you know, there are no P waves. Um, the QRS is narrow, and that's uh, important, and the rhythm is regular, and all of that is evidence that this is uh, a junctional rhythm and the heart rate of 48.